Hello everybody and welcome back to our lesson. So for this video, I am going to talk about composition of functions. So I am going to talk about composition of functions using tables and graphs and then composition of functions using formulas. Okay, so what does it mean when I say composition of functions? When the output of one function is used as the input of another, we call the entire operation a composition of functions. So the symbol we use is this one. And this is read as f of g of x or f composed with g at x. But I am more comfortable saying f of g of x. Okay. So, there is an alternate notation for the composition. Uh, there is an operator. It's like an open circle, like this one. So, if we have F, open circle, G, this is actually composition of function, the same as this one. Okay? So, uh, this notation here is just the same with this notation here. And they are read the same as f of g of x. Okay, that means uh, we are composing functions. Okay, so first, let us talk about the composition of functions when we are given a table. Okay. So we have here two tables. The first table is uh, function f. So we have f of x. And the second table here, we have a function g, uh, g of x. Okay, so for x, uh, for f of x, when the input is 1, the output is 6, and so on. The same is true with the g of x. So our first um, problem is, let us evaluate f of g of 3. Okay, so how do we do this? f of g of 3 first we need to evaluate g of 3 here okay the output what is g of 3 again what is the output when the input is 3 okay so g of 3 is the, out, the input is 3 the output is 2 therefore g of 3 is equal to 2. Now we can evaluate f of g of 3. This now becomes f of 2. Okay, so f of 2 is equal to when the input is 2, the output is 8. So f of 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, f of g of 3 is equal to 8. Okay. So that's for f of g of 3. How about g of f of 4? g of f of 4 is equal to, let us evaluate f of 4. What is the output when the input is 4? So the input is 4, the output is 1. Therefore, this now becomes g of 1. Okay, the g of 1, when the input is 1, the output is 3. Therefore, this is equal to 3. G of F of 4 is equal to 3. So that's how we evaluate function or compose function using table. Okay, The input for the other one is the output of the other function. Let us take a look about uh, the composition of functions given graphs. Okay, so we are given two graphs here the first graph is f of x and the second graph is g of x okay so let us evaluate f of g of 1 okay first we need to evaluate g of 1 okay we now know how to evaluate functions right if we are given a uh, graph so what is g of 1 of course uh, since we are looking for g of 1 we have to look at the graph of g of x so basically this is asking what is the output value 
when the input value is 1. So let us take a look at when x is equal to 1. Here is x equals 1. And the graph crosses this point when x is equal to 1. Okay. So the output value g of 1, let us write here, g of 1 is equal to the output value is 3. Okay. Okay, therefore, the f of g of 1 now becomes f of 3. Okay, and then since this is asking for f of 3, let us take a look at the graph of f of x and look for the output value when the input value is 3. When the input value is 3, here is 3. And the graph crosses this point when the input value is 3 the output value is 6 right therefore this is 6 a f of g of 1 is equal to 6 okay so that's how we evaluate functions or we compose function using tables and using graphs next we are going to talk about composition of functions using formulas okay we are given formulas so we have here two functions f of t and h of x and let us evaluate f of h of one okay so what if what is f of h of one first we need to evaluate h of one okay so h of one is equal to uh, uh, our h of x is 3x plus 2 so basically we just need to substitute 1 to the input variable x okay, so this becomes 3 times 1 plus 2 so this is 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 okay so f of h of 1 now becomes f of h of 1 this now becomes f of 5 okay because of because h of 1 is equal to 5 so we have f of 5 the input value we are now uh, looking at this function when the input value is 5 this becomes 5 squared minus 5 so this is equal to 25 minus 5 which is equal to 20 therefore f of h of 1 is equal to 20 basic right so that's how we evaluate or we compose function that's how we evaluate composition of function let us take a look at another problem so we have f of x equals x squared and g of x is equal to 1 over x minus 2x. Let us find f of g of x and g of f of x. Uh, let's solve f of g of x first. f of g of x is equal to, basically, uh, the g of x is the input value to f of x. So f of x is x squared. So we just need to substitute x with whatever g of x we have. So this becomes 1 over x minus 2x squared. Right? So we have x squared. This x is substituted with 1 over x minus 2x. And then squared. Okay. And then let us evaluate this one. Okay. So... Uh, this is the square of a binomial so 1 over x squared minus 2 times 1 over x times 2x and then plus 2x squared okay and this is a uh, further simplified as 1 over x squared x and x is cancelled here so minus 4 plus 4 x squared so that is 
f of g of x. How about g of f of x? Okay, so basically we are going to key in or our input is f of x to g of x. So our original g of x is 1 over x minus 2x. Let us substitute the input variable x with x squared. So it becomes 1 over x squared minus 2 times x squared. Okay, so this is the, this is actually the uh, simplified form now okay so that's how we compose function using formula yeah uh, and lastly let us answer this one f of x is equal to 1 over x squared minus 1 and g of x is equal to square root of x minus 2 uh, basically we are finding the domain okay so to find for the domain of f of g of x uh, let us need uh, it's needed I know that we have to solve for f of g of x first okay so f of g of x is equal to okay f of uh, I mean g of, uh, that is f of x and let us substitute g of x there so 1 over let us substitute x with e square root of x minus 2. So that's e square root of x minus 2. And then that is e squared minus 1. Uh, simplifying, we have 1 over x minus 2. This is, uh, The square root and the square is cancelled out. We have x minus 2 minus 1. So this is 1 over x minus 3 okay so this is f of g of x so but what is the domain of the uh, composed function f of g of x first let us take a look at this function okay 1 over x minus 3 we know that a rational function is undefined when the denominator is zero right so we need to restrict the domain of this fu composed function that x is not equal to positive 3 because when x is equal to positive 3 the denominator is equal to 0 okay so that's our first restriction the domain here let us write the domain of f of g of x first x cannot be equal to positive 3 and there is another restriction that we need to take note here okay look at the input function g of x okay the input function g of x we need to find the domain of this function so our original function g of x is square root of x minus 2 so we know that if we are given a radical function the radicand should be greater than or equal to 0 so x minus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0 we don't want the radicand to be negative okay so we have x should be greater than or equal to positive 2 okay so this is also taken into account and the domain of f of g of x the domain of the input function should be taken into account okay so we have two restrictions okay so we have x should be greater than or equal to 2 but x should not be equal to positive 3 okay so what do we do with these two restrictions we're going to uh, we get the intersection okay we get the inters uh, intersection or union and we get we need to get the intersection of these two okay we need to get the intersection of these two domains that we have solved so if we draw this on the number line okay, we have here the positive two we have here the positive three okay 
So the first restriction that we solve, x should not be equal to uh, positive 3. So we have a hole in here. Okay, at x is equal to 3, we have an open circle. And x is greater than or equal to 2. So at x equals 2, we have a closed circle. And every value greater than positive 2 is included. Okay, so that's our that's our domain. So if we write this in uh, interval notation, we have a included positive two is included until positive three, and then union three to positive infinity. Okay, this is our overall domain for the given composed function f of g of x okay so that's it for the composition of function if you have any question do not hesitate to write them on the comment section do not forget to subscribe thank you